All right, listen. Before he falls off the stool. Yeah, he's tired. You heard what he said, folks. He's, I gotta get. I gotta keep moving with that. I know so he can get home, and get some rest. Let's talk Steelers now. Mason Rudolph, 11 touchdowns, a couple of interceptions. James Conner going to be back in the lineup. A good thing. Very physical uh, running back, 380 yards. Juju Smith-Schuster starting to wake up a little bit and take the reins. Uh, 503 yards, three touchdowns. And you know, I, I just like Mike Tomlin what he's done. So, how do you think this thing is going to end up? Brown Stadium tomorrow night. It is. The Steelers are two and a half point underdog against Cleveland. In a crucial AFC North matchup, Steelers are now five and four. I like the way the Steelers match up against the Browns. I think you're going to see a very strong rush from the Browns. The Steelers are going to have a game plan uh, to take advantage of that rush, uh, kind of fit in to the to the uh, abilities that they have. Having Connor back is going to be very strong. But you got to go to that defense, Michael Fitzpatrick, and the way they've been able to play. They have really stepped it up, and that's what. It's going to be you're going to see another slugfest tomorrow night with uh, the, the Steelers and the Browns, and I see a very uh, strong defensive game. Not a whole lot of points scored, so that two and a half point uh, spread could become very important. Well, come on. So who do you who do you, who do you like? I'm going Steelers all the way. Me too, man. I think they win. I, I by think a they win more. I, I see it about the same. I, I can tell you that I feel field goal at least, but maybe a touchdown. But it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be fought out in the trenches. The big uglies are going to be playing the game. And let me give a personal invitation to Duck Hodges. If he's looking for a great state to hunt in, this is the place. I think I saw more deer here on the way down tonight. I love West Virginia. And those are just your old girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he hasn't lost a step. We're going to come back and talk to Ted about what he and I love to talk about, working class people from West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Stay with us.